They are making a comeback for nearly two decades. They've been nestled underground waiting to emerge and now it is time for the return of the cicadas. And apparently, even though it's not their time in the Chicagoland area until 2024, they're going to be giving Eastern Illinois and parts of Indiana a preview of what we can expect. And we are joined by Katie Dana, an entomologist with the Illinois Natural History Survey. Katie, good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. We love to talk cicadas, so we are so happy to track you down. And you know, Katie, for people who have lived through this already, in our area, it was 2007. Everyone has a cicada story. And so that's the question today is, do you remember the last time the cicadas came to Illinois and what was it like for you? So I'm going to ask you that question. <laughs> So I'm actually not from Illinois, so this is going to be the first year where I don't have to drive three or four hours or more to see them. Um, the first time I saw them was actually in Kansas, and it was just like the forest became alive because it was right after sunset. And they were all crawling out of the ground, Ooh. and you could just hear them digging their way up. Oh, my gosh. You must have been so excited. Katie, I love it. You're like a tornado chaser, but you're chasing cicadas. So our area, as I said, is not expected to see a big invasion of cicadas until 2024. But tell us what's going to be happening for the parts of the state and the country that will see these. And are they different than what we will see in a few years? So this year is Brood 10. And if you go to the far eastern counties of central Illinois, like Clark or Edgar, kind of around the Danville area, you can see them emerging. Um, and this is going to be the western edge of Brood 10. Um, so if you want to, you know, catch a sneak peek of 2024, head out to like Kickapoo or Forest Glen and go for a nice hiking trip to see them. Okay, tell us about the habits and traits of cicadas and some interesting facts that maybe we don't really know, like, like the sounds that they make. Why are they so loud? So in Illinois, we actually have 22, maybe 23 species of cicadas, and each of those species has its own unique song. So there are seven species of periodical cicadas. Each one has its own song. And unlike our, our normal, like, dog day cicadas that we hear during the summer, periodical cicadas aren't very loud by themselves. It's when you get them in these huge numbers that they're just deafening. Wow. So describe how long do they live? And what do you think we can expect to see in 2024 when, when they are in our own backyards once again? So they're underground for about 17 years before they come up above ground. Um, and then they only live for a few weeks just to mate and lay eggs before they either die or get eaten. And in 2024, it's gonna be amazing um, and very loud. Uh, we're gonna have two broods in Illinois merging simultaneously, both a 13-year brood and a 17-year brood. So all the way from northern to southern Illinois, we're going to have cicadas everywhere. And this only happens every few hundred years, so I'm really excited when you actually have two <laughs> broods overlapping like that. So this is a rare thing. It only happens every 100 years. I love that you're so excited and that it's going to be amazing because I think I know a lot of people who might disagree with you because as I think back to when we had them the last time when I was here, it was it, the, the sound was deafening. Um, my dog was eating them constantly. Uh, and the dogs do seem to love them. I guess they're a good source of protein for them. So if you want people to remember anything interesting about this or why we should be as excited as you are, Katie, what should that be? Well, I am excited because this is great for wildlife. You're going to see tons of birds just having a feast, squirrels having feasts, and um, even snakes love to eat these guys. So it's going to be a wildlife adventure. So, so what's the most What's the most exciting thing you're, you're looking forward to seeing yourself since you chase cicadas all over the place? Oh, um, everything. everything. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be out there looking for cicadas uh, the, whole, the whole summer. <laughs> well, I'm excited for you. You will be one of the few people I know who are looking forward to this, and it's going to be an interesting time. Also, I thought it's interesting. There is an app to track emerging cicadas. It's called cicadasafari.org org in case any of our viewers would also like to track them as, as Katie does. Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Very fun. Do you like our background? We made this just for you. I love it. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Thanks for joining me. It's our pleasure to have you on this morning. Coming up